You're dropping to about 70 degrees this evening, so it's going to be a nice one once again. We're going to see muggy conditions the rest of this evening under mostly clear skies, but not a bad night. Tomorrow we're going to have a little bit less humidity. It's going to feel a little bit better in the afternoon, up to 92 for that heat index. Saturday I'll be tracking a chance for some storms, and that will give us a little bit more moisture in the atmosphere, giving us about 95 for that heat index. But it feels better by the end of the weekend. Sunday we should be back into the upper 80s for highs, and that humidity continues to stay low. We're between two storm systems this evening. So we continue to be dry while those of us to the south and to the north dealing with some strong thunderstorms. But we'll continue to have clear skies into tomorrow morning. You'll see our future track has a starting out some of us in the upper 60s with that sunshine. The afternoon is dry. We should make it to about 90 degrees. I'm not expecting any rainfall going into tomorrow evening either. Going into Saturday morning, though, that's a different story. We can have another one of these nighttime storm complexes move in from the northwest and give us a chance at some heavy rain and some gusty winds going through Saturday morning. By the afternoon, afternoon though that starts to clear out we are going to see highs recovering back into the mid to upper 80s it'll be a little bit more humid but it's dry going into Saturday night and into Sunday morning we do have a risk for a few strong storms on Saturday it's a marginal threat for severe weather including areas along and south of highway 24 and that would be for the threat of isolated damaging winds and some heavy rain over the next week or so we're going to get a bit of a break by the end of the weekend but after that that heat really starts to ramp back up we're going to see temperatures getting back into the mid to upper 90s by Wednesday and Thursday.